Alright everyone, this is part 2 of um, my Alpo, Ma Alpo Aluminium MacBook, a 2.0 model. Um, so in this video I'm going to just talk about some of the features, such as iWork, which I got as well. Um, iWork is really good, I'm enjoying using Pages, Keynote, which is far superior than PowerPoint in my opinion. Uh, it's really good, easy to use. The whole thing about Leopard and Mac system is it's user friendly, it's simple, they've kept simplicity as their main objective Apple have, which I believe is really good because it's as simple to the end user, which is us as the customers. So Apple is really good at it, even with Apple Care and the customer service, and um, you know, they're not gonna tell you you know, it's, if you want your system replaced, they're not gonna tell you to arrange a courier or this or that. They will just do it for you, no questions asked. They're quite prompt in that, you know, it's not it's not a complicated procedure. Sorry guys, that was my phone going off so I had to answer it. Um, getting back to iWork, um, iWork is good. Uh, my only gripe with it is um, the use of bullet points. Um, there probably are more that I'll discover later on, but when I was the days that I have been using it is um, using bullet points. <laughs> it's a bit complicated because I've been using Word and PowerPoint for quite a long time, for 10 years, just over 10 years. and. Uh, and Word is simple, the bullet points are right there in front of you. Whereas in Keynote or Pages, you've got to open the inspector pane and then within that locate it. I didn't know that, so I asked a few people and it says, go here or go there. Uh, just another con thing about the Keynote is um, when you make comments in Keynote for your, the presenter notes and you then export the file to a PowerPoint, it won't load. Um, it, was, it wasn't really funny, but I got quite annoyed at that because I made a, per, a keynote and then I transferred it over to, exported it to a PowerPoint and then it went load and I had a presentation two days after and it was all over the place, but I managed to fix it. Um, overall, if I was to rate this laptop, I've had quite a few. This is my first Mac system that I've said previously quite a lot of times. I would give it a 9.5 out of 10. It's simple, the price for me was good, for some it wasn't because not everyone's a student, but for, for myself it was a good, good student offer, I mean £700 is the average for a normal laptop these days, equipped with you know the latest design, um, it's a good quality brand, the operating system's good, the software for it's good, simplicity is at, at its best, and the Apple Care 3 years warranty I've heard quite a lot of good things about it, you know, Apple are pretty decent and replacing the machine, the turnaround for that is good. So my advice is if you if you know like I was before getting this Mac I was looking at a lot of videos, looking at a lot of reviews and confused because I was getting mixed reviews of people saying it's bad, it's good. But I've learned that, you know, don't read what people say because the thing is people complain in forums if they've got a problem, no one really says good things about the system and it's going fine. Yeah, some people do, but the majority complain in forums. Go out, get it. If you don't like it, sell it. Or if you're in the 14 days, give it back to Apple and get your money back. There's no harm in trying. Change is good. You know, I was a bit worried about change as well. How long would it take me to get used to this Apple system? So from someone who's come from Windows for 10, from someone who's been using Windows for over 10 years and then going to Mac, it took me roughly 2 or 3 days to get used to everything. It's not rocket science, it's, um, it's, uh, it's really simple. Um, just to end it off, I will be getting this, I don't know if you can see that, um, this bag for, lap, for, the, for the MacBook. I will be doing a full review on it and then I'll be giving it away. Um, it's the Apple Sack Messenger bag. I'm not going to keep it, I'm going to be giving it away to one of my subscribers, so subscribe, rate and comment and keep checking back on this video and I'll tell you how you can run this bag. I'll be giving it away to one of my viewers. You've got to subscribe, you've got to rate and you've got to comment. Um, if you've got any messages, if you want advice, if you're looking to switch over to Mac, feel free to PM me, leave a comment and I'll get back to you. I'm not, I'm not just going to ignore you, I will get back to you, rest assured. 
because um, I know I've been in that position and I know some of you are at the moment in this position and you don't know what to do feel free to just give me a PM and I'll get back to you um, that's about it um, I pretty much covered everything in it um, if you like my video yeah, go ahead and rate it um, if you know that someone's moving to a Mac uh, please uh, show them this video so they know what they're going to be expecting um, and yeah just enjoy I hope you like my videos um, I've got a few giveaways coming up not just this one but I've got more coming up as well so keep a look at it I suppose um, yeah so that's pretty much it hope you liked it um, I'll see you soon thanks for watching see you